my dear students you are welcome to my class here is speaking Muhammad Rahul Amin, assistant teacher English, Ghadal Cantonment Public School and College. Hope you are well. I am also staying well. The topic that we are going to discuss today is changing sentences and that is according to meaning. You know that there are two types of changing sentences. One is according to meaning and another one is according to structure. Up to class 8 in our traditional syllabus we find that there is changing sentences based on meaning. And in class uh, 11, uh, 10, 9, 10, and 11, 12, we will find the uses of changing sentences according to structure. So hence, our today's presentation is based on changing sentences according to meaning. And we know that according to meaning, there are several types of questions that may arrive in your question that may uh, affirmative to negative. The next one is negative to affirmative. Next to that, assertive to interrogative. Next to that, assertive to exclamatory. Then next, exclamatory to assertive. So these are the various types of sentences according to meaning. And we have to know rules. Uh, as this is our first class on changing sentences, today we will learn, we'll learn about affirmative to negative. And if we can learn affirmative to negative, automatically we will learn negative to affirmative. So our today's presentation is based on affirmative to negative and vice versa. So vice versa indicates that affirmative to negative as well as negative to affirmative. So options to be remembered. What are the options? What are the rules? What are the basics that we have to keep in mind while changing an affirmative sentence into a negative one and a negative sentence into an affirmative one? The very first one is no change of the meaning of the given sentences. That means the sentence that is given the meaning of that sentence will remain unsensed. That means you cannot sense the meaning of the sentence. Then, what is the parameter of changing? Based on what you are going to sense the sentence, based on word, based on a phrase or based on grammar, based on what you are going to sense the sentence, you have to determine that. This is also very important. Next to that, you will find sound knowledge on the antonym of common words. So while turning an affirmative sentence into a negative one, as well as while turning into a negative sentence into an affirmative one, you have to know the opposite words of the common words that we usually find in uh, very common sentences. You have to know the antonym or you have to know the opposite of that words. The next to that, answer may vary hard. Don't get panic. Rather be sure of your point. That means one, uh, we have already known there are some parameter of changing. One student uh, may change a word. Another student may change the another word. So here several rules are applicable so you no need to be panicked if your answer vary with your uh, the answer of others you don't get frustrated rather be sure that from your point of view your answer is correct memorize the exceptional ones as they don't follow rules so you know that exception cannot be example so you have to memorize the exception once if you want to process if you want to uh, show that you have sound knowledge on that because exceptional sentences don't follow any rules that's why you have to keep in mind this in memorization so uh, let us now go in details uh, here you have to keep in mind that in our traditional classes we will find that at first we learn rules then we go through example here we will not learn we will learn rules through examples that means no rules will be written here rather uh, through examples by practicing examples we will find which rules is apl uh, applied here and based on that we will try to process we will try to gather all sorts of knowledge in details about affirmative negative and vice versa the very first one is only Allah can help us here Allah alone can help us uh, both are same so yeah, here only is the parameter of changing as well as alone is the parameter of changing and see that now we will find the a negative sentence of that very one none but Allah can help us so it is very clear that only indicating Allah creator God or person I am repeating only indicating Allah creator God or person or alone indicating Allah creator God or person we will take none but instead of only or alone at the very beginning of the sentence so only in case of person creator god allah will take none but at the very beginning of the sentence 
then let us move to the next one only indicating object non living things non living things only indicating an object or non living things what will happen instead of only or in the place of only we will take nothing but other part of the sentence will remain unchanged so only indicating object or thing we will take nothing but at the place of only instead of only we will take nothing but let us move to the next one only indicating number or digit or age only indicating number digit or age what will happen we will take not more than in the place of only so instead of only we will take not more than when only indicates number digit or age let us move to the next corals are seen only in saint martin here find that only is indicating a place so when only indicates a place what happens see that instead of only we will take no where but so instead of only we will take no where but at first only indicating person we have taken none but only indicating things we have taken nothing but only indicating number we have taken not more than only indicating a place we have taken no where but so uh, let us move to the next one that is if in a sentence if in an affirmative sentence there is the use of must or have to or has to are to is to or am to i am repeating must have to or has to are to is to am to what will happen instead of this you have to take cannot but plus verb one or can't help plus verb one plus ing so we can take cannot but plus verb one or can't help plus verb one plus ing conveying the same meaning if we take after cannot if we take but there will be verb one if we take help there will be verb one plus ing so i am repeating instead of must or instead of have to or instead of has to instead of are to or instead of are am to or instead of is to we have to take cannot but verb one or can't help verb one plus ing so see that we must stay home to avoid corona we cannot but stay home to avoid corona or we can't help staying home to avoid corona next instead of past tense of have to or r2 in case of had to or in case of was to or were to i am repeating instead of had to or was to or were to what will happen in negative sentence you have to take couldn't but plus verb one or couldn't help plus verb one plus ing so past tense will happen instead uh, of had to we have to take couldn't but plus verb one instead of was to or were to we have to take couldn't help plus verb one plus ing or couldn't but plus verb one so any of this will do next in, in case of i love both my father and mother i love both my father and mother what is the parameter of change here the parameter of changes are of two one may be and another may be both dot dot and so if in an affirmative sentence there is both dot dot and or only and what will happen let us see in case of both we will take not only and in the place of and we will take but also or if there is no both we will take uh, not only before the noun before and and in case of and or in the place of and we will take but also so i love both my father and mother i love not only my father but also my mother so the rules is in case of both dot dot and or only and we will take not only dot dot but also next everybody wants friends everybody wants friends so what is the parameter of changing here everybody we will think what will happen if in an affirmative sentence there is everybody see that there is nobody but so this is very common rules in case of everybody in negative sentence we will take there is nobody but other parts will remain unchanged there may be alternative there is nobody there is nobody who doesn't want friends so instead of but if we take who there will be negative so there is nobody who doesn't want friends there is nobody who doesn't want friends 
there may be another alternative uh, that is nobody wants enemies so instead of everybody you are taking negative nobody then you have to change the another words that is friends the opposite word of friends is enemies that's why there are the alternatives any of these three will do so if you can apply any of these three the very first one is very common instead of everybody will take there is nobody but there is nobody but another parts will get remain unsensed next every school has students there was everybody but now every school so every plus noun every plus noun the same rules there is no school but has students there is no school so every school there is no school but there is no school but so there is no plus noun plus but another part other parts remain unsensed there may be alternative there is no school without students in case of has if there is has in a sentence then we can take without there is no school without students there is no school without students there may be another alternative there is no school that doesn't have students so in case of person we take who but in case of non-living things we take that so there is no school that doesn't have students the very first one is very common there is no school but has students i am teaching you all these three because in your question paper there may be negative sentence you have to turn it into affirmative one so if this one is given what will happen you will take this one if this one is given you will also take this one as well as this one you will take this one let us move to the next one everything is clear everything is clear see that here the parameter is uh, changing is everything everything so see that what will happen nothing is unclear nothing is unclear so in case of everything you will take nothing in case of everything you will take nothing and the other word will get uh, the opposite of it or antonym of it so everything is clear nothing is unclear then as soon as he came i went out so the parameter is as soon as if in an affirmative sentence there is the use of as soon as uh, what will happen in negative you see that there will be no sooner had no sooner had then subject then verb three as you have taken had there will be verb three so the verb three of came is come then in case of comma you have to take then in the place of comma you have to take then then other parts will remain unsensed so I'm repeating as soon as he came I went out so if there is as soon as in an affirmative sentence at the beginning there will be no sooner had no sooner had then subject then verb 3 so the verb 3 of came is come then in place of comma you will take then in place of comma you will take then other parts will remain unsensed Rifa is the best girl of her class. Rifa is the best girl of her class. Here see that the best that means the plus adjective 3. The plus adjective 3 use of superlative degree. So what will happen? No other girl of her class is as or so good as Rifa. So in superlative sentence if you start it uh, to do positive with no other it will be a negative sentence. So no other girl of her class is as or so good as Rifa. As it is, an, it is a positive sentence, you have to take positive degree. We know that positive degree is good. So is as good as or is so good as Rifa. We learn in details about this very rule in the part of degree. Arisha is as cute as Nija. Arisha is as cute as Nija. See that what is the meaning? Arisha is as cute as Nija. That means parallel. The word cute is indicating that these two are parallel. That means Arisha is not more than Liza or Nija or Nija is not more than Arisha. So Arisha is no less cute than Arisha. There may be an, an alternative. Niza is not cuter than Risha. So if you uh, if you use uh, the same subject Risha uh, the same subject, then you have to take no less adjective on then. No less adjective on then. No less adjective on then. But if you take the last noun in the beginning, then there will be not adjective to then. Not 
adjective to then so niza is not cuter than risha a good student is always smart so at the uh, parameter of changing is always so if in an affirmative sentence there is always what will happen in negative in place of always there will be never and the word that is the basic word of the sentence will get changed so a good student is always smart so a good student is never unsmart a good student is always smart a good student is never unsmart so always will be replaced by never and antonym of the basic word next he is sometimes late so the parameter of changing is sometimes if in an affirmative sentence there is sometimes what will happen in negative c not always so sometimes not always he is sometimes late he is not always late mr lothif is an educated man so there is an adjective an educated man so not plus opposite of that adjective not plus opposite of adjective or adverb not plus opposite of adjective or adverb so mr lothif is an educated man mr lothif is not an uneducated man educated the antonym is uneducated nurul is too poor to buy a new phone so the parameter of changing is 2.2 2.2 if there is 2.2 in an affirmative sentence in negative sentence you have to take so dot dot that so dot dot that so nurul is so poor that he cannot buy a new phone nurul is so poor that he cannot buy a new phone so if there is 2.2 there will be so dot dot that then you have to take a subject based on you have to take a pronoun based on the noun so nurul instead of nurul you have taken here he and there will be in place of a uh, to there will be cannot if there is present tense there will be cannot if there is past tense there will be couldn't next i am here for the first time i am here for the first time so if there is for the first time in an affirmative sentence what will happen in negative say never before did never before did i come here never before this is an exceptional one never before did i come here so here did will come in front of subject that's why there will be verb one he is here for the last time so if there is for the last time what will take never again will never again will he come here never again will he come here so this is also an exceptional one so keep it memorized for the last time never again will or shall then subject the earth is moving this is uh, this is a universal truth this is a universal truth so what will happen in negative interrogative negative interrogative so is isn't the earth moving the earth is moving isn't the earth moving health is wealth isn't health wealth so in case of universal truth we have to make negative interrogative pony has many friends so if there is many what we have to take not a few instead of many there will be not a few pony has many friends pony has not a few friends uh, as well as if there is a few we will take many so if there is only has a few friends only has not many friends so instead of many there will be not a few instead of a few there will be not many himal has a little knowledge on it that means information technology so here is a little a little so what will happen not much himal has not much knowledge on it so if there is a little we have to take not much if there is much we have to take not a little i am repeating if there is a little we will take in negative not much if there is much in affirmative in negative there will be not a little tamim is smarter than hamim so what is the meaning the uh, is tamim is smarter than hamim so this one is smarter so hamim is not so smart as tamim say that hamim is not so smart as tamim here hamim will come first hamim is not so smart as tamim that means tamim is the smarter tamim is smarter than hamim so hamim is not so smart as tamim maria is very active so see that here is 
uh, active and adjective very there is also the use of very so what will happen Maria is not inactive at all instead of very there will be at all at the end so Maria is active Maria is not inactive and there is very so there will be at all so Maria is very active Maria is not inactive at all by practicing these rules well you can learn English well so parameter is by practicing there will be without practicing there is can there will be cannot so by practicing these rules well you can learn English well without practicing these rules well you cannot learn English well so if there is by plus verb one plus ing there will be and there um, is also can but uh, instead of by we'll take without instead of by we'll take without instead of can we'll take cannot he is proactive he is proactive so see that it is not that he is proactive this is very unusual but this is also uh, correct so you can apply this one when you cannot make uh, when you cannot apply any rules so he is proactive it is not that he is proactive he is proactive it is not that he is proactive uh, so uh, that's all about uh, today's class it is time to say goodbye for the time being so stay tuned thank you